seen some guidelines that are given by IS 456 for the design of compression members. In this video, we will be solving some problems related to the design of compression members. The first question is, design a RC column of size 450 mm by 600 mm subject to an axial load of 2000 kN under service load condition. Unsupported length of column is 3 meter. Use M20 concrete and FE415 steel. Assume L effective is equals to L. So we have to assume that L effective value is equals to the given value of the length of the column. So the size of column is given by 450 mm into 600 mm. And axial load is given as 2000 kN. But this load is under service load condition. Unsupported length or the effective length is given by 3 meter. We have to use M20 grade of concrete and FE415 steel. So, with the help of this, we have to design the RC column. So, first we will start with whether the given column or the given conditions or given details of the column uh, are for short column or for long column. So, for that, we have to find out the lambda value. And lambda is given by L effective by least lateral dimension. And the least lateral dimension in our case is 450 mm. And L effective is given by 3000 by 450. And this is given by 6.67 which is less than 12. So this value is less than 12. Therefore, we have to go for design of short column. Now, this we find out that the R column for design is short column. Next, we have to find out the minimum eccentricity criteria. So, we will consider the minimum eccentricity criteria in both the two, di two directions that is along the x axis and y axis. So, in first case, along the x-axis, Ex minimum will be given by L by 500 plus Dx upon 30 and the second is 20 mm. So, we have to take the greater of these two, but this should be less than 0 0.05 Dx. So by solving this, L by 500 will be 3000 by 500 plus dx value is my 450 by 30 and this comes out to be 21 mm and next is 20 mm and this should be less than 0.05 into dx is 450 and that value comes out to be 22.5 mm. So, as we can see, the minimum eccentricity criteria is fulfilling in this particular case because the greater of these two, that is 21 mm, is less than 22.5 mm. So, this condition is satisfied. Now, we will check for EY minimum in the y direction. So, L by 500 by dy upon 500 and Greater of these two should be less than 0.05 dy. So 3000 by 500 plus along the y direction the depth of the column is 600 and this value comes out to be 26 mm. 
So greater of these two is 26 and that should be less than 0.05 into 600 and which is equals to 30 mm. So therefore in y direction also the minimum eccentricity criteria of I is 456 is fulfilling because the greater of these two is 26 mm and which is less than or equals to 30 mm. So therefore this criteria is also fulfilled. Now, after getting this uh, condition, we will go for the formula that is Pu is equals to 0.4 Fck into A AC plus 0.87 Fy into AC. Now this formula we can use only and only when the eccentricity is less than 0 0.05 dx or 0 0.05 dy. And these two criteria we have already checked because the eccentricity is less than these two criteria. Therefore, we can use this particular formula. So, PU is service load is given as 2000 kN. So, the ultimate load will be given by 1.5 into 2000 into 1000 to convert this into newton. And that is should be equals to 0.4 into FCK is 20 and AC value will be equals to. 450 into 600 minus ESC plus 0.87 into Fy will be 415 into ASC. So from here we can calculate the value of ASC easily and ESC value comes out to be 311 0.5 mm square. So this much area of reinforcement we should provide in order to avoid the failure of the compression member. So now how I will provide this ESC value. Now directly there are so many combinations in which we can provide the reinforcement. I will choose 4 numbers of 20 mm dia bars and 4 numbers of 25 mm dia bars. This combination I will be choosing and if I calculate the area of these 8 reinforcement bars that comes out to be 3220 mm square. So here I will provide my reinforcement bars like this. The bars of maximum dia I will provide at the extreme corners of this particular beam section and 20 mm by bars are provided at this particular locations. Now all the 4 bars, all the 8 bars I will tie with the help of ties in order to avoid the buckling failure of this particular longitudinal bars. So this is the best shape in which I can provide the reinforcement bars and the tie bars. So this extreme bars are of 25 mm dia and these bars are having 20 mm dia. So now this much we have calculated. Now we have to find out the diameter of these tie bars and spacing of these tie bars. Longitudinal minimum 
which will be 16 into 20 so 320 mm and the next is 300 mm so the minimum of these three I will be taking as the spacing of my tie bars and the minimum value is 300 mm so that's why spacing will be 300 mm so I will be using 8 mm dia tie bars at 300 mm center to center distance so this is how I go for the design of the compression member in the next video we will be solving two more problems related to design of the compression member